was an attempt to focus more sharply the, the needs of our individual students. We need to, a, a mechanism whereby we can identify out of the student body those who are in most need. Not that we neglect the student body as a whole, but we do have to have a special focus on those individuals who have the most needs and need special attention. So we're hoping for what we call a continuum of care. So from start to finish, everybody who has to um, know about that student's needs will be informed and it will be appropriate, it will be targeted and it will hopefully lead to better outcomes for our students. The schools who, as I said, who are already working with this model, there has been a decrease in the referral to centre care for counselling. What the schools are finding where we've set up a student wellbeing management committee in the schools is that there's a knowledge that's spread throughout the whole school community. So staff are fully informed when a student might have needs so that they're in touch with what that student's needs might be. They can um, make adjustments as appropriate and they're not kept in the dark. The old model, there was a bit of a disconnect between the counselling, between the families and between the school. And often teachers who have these children every day didn't have an understanding of what that student's needs were. We did it I suppose because we were finding the needs of our, our children were growing. If we kept to the model of a school counsellor doing all of those referrals, uh, we would have a lot more issues here. It's a great model because all of our children's needs and differences are now being met and I don't think they were being met in the past and if they were, it was on a surface level. Most recently we've noticed a significant decline at uh, top end behaviours, you know, suspensions and uh, major detentions. We came up with a program, it was delivered after school, teachers took the philosophies and underpinnings of that into the classroom and it quickly filtered back that they were experiencing some success that um, was what they were looking for and students and certainly the students um, agreed with. Audio Jungle.